hello friends in this video we will derive the equation for determining frequency of oscillations of bipolar suspension system first of all let us define the bipolar suspension system bipolar suspension system is nothing but a flat rectangular bar or a flat rectangular plate suspended at its two ends using strings of equal lengths and strings are assumed to be inextensible and also the strings are having enough length so that the oscillations takes place freely now here I have shown one bipolar suspension system where a flat rectangular bar has been suspended in vertical plane using two strings of equal length L and having sufficient length the strings are connected to the plate or bar at points A and B now let us locate the CG of this bar say so G is the mass center through which the mass of the plate MG acts in vertically downward direction let us assume that the mass center is located at distance X from the left string and at a distance y from the right string so these are the distances of CG from points of suspensions A and B X is the distance of CG from point of suspension A and Y is the distance of CG from point of suspension B now after suspending the weight in the vertical plane using the strings strings will undergo so they will experience some amount of tension now let us assume that the tension on the left hand string is TA and the tension on the right hand string is TB now amount of both the tensions will be different since the mass center is not located <coughs> exactly at the midpoint of length AB it is at two different distances from points A and B it is located at X from A and at Y from B so since the suspended system is not symmetrical about G so we have values of tensions in string A and B different okay so TA be the tension in left string and let TB be the tension in right string these tensions arises because of the weight which is acting in vertically downward direction so let us find out the values of these tensions so making use of the laws of static equilibrium we have sigma m that is moment about any point in the plane to be zero so let us take moment about point a of all the forces to be zero for static equilibrium so we are taking moment about a there are two forces which will produce the moment about point a mg into x moment in clockwise direction and tb into x plus y is the moment in counterclockwise direction so tb into x plus y so value of tb becomes equals to mgx upon x plus y Okay. this is equation number A similarly taking moment about point B for all the forces in the same plane we get the value of TA which is equals to MGY upon X plus Y so we have determined the values of the unknown tensions TA and TB in terms of the known parameters mg x and y so now we can determine the values of ta and tb from this equation now let us displace this flat bar in vertical plane oh, sorry in horizontal plane by rotating it through some angle theta about x is passing through CG so if we rotate the rectangular bar by an angle theta about x is passing through CG 
that means we are rotating the plate AB in horizontal plane about the vertical axis passing through the mass center G so it will oscillate about point G after we remove the force required for displacement now let us suppose that initially when we displace the bar by an amount of theta let us say the displaced position of A is A dash when we displace the bar by amount theta in clockwise sense similarly point B will move to B dash okay when we displace the bar AB by an amount of theta degrees in counterclockwise sense now this string will also experience the twist okay so now the springs uh, strings will be occupying the new position a dash and b dash and they will experience some amount of twist now again the twist will be different for both the strings because uh, because of unsymmetrical loading conditions so let us consider that phi a is the twist on the left string and phi b is the angular twist in the right string so now again these are two unknowns we need to find out the values of these unknowns so let us try to find out the values of these unknowns phi a and phi b okay. now for phi a and phi b for phi a consider this arc a a dash okay arc a a dash forming a sector subtended by angle theta so we have length of arc a a dash is equals to radius of rotation r so here distance of a from center of rotation is x into angular displacement theta okay similarly from this sector making angle phi a okay a a dash is common to these two triangles so a a dash that is length of arc a a dash is equals to r into theta now r is length of the string and angular displacement is phi a now equating both this we get phi a is equals to x theta upon l this is equation number c similarly from right hand side we will get the equation for phi b which is equals to y theta upon l okay solving on the similar terms for b b dash we will get phi b equals to y theta upon l and let us name this equation as equation d now we have determined all the unknowns t a t b phi a phi b okay. now after displacing <coughs> the bar in horizontal plane by angle theta and when we release the force required for displacement the bar will oscillate in horizontal plane like this about the vertical axis passing through cg okay and we want to determine the frequency of oscillations of the flat bar in horizontal plane now when we displace the bar by angle theta according to newton's second law angular acceleration will be produced in the direction of displacement theta let us denote the angular acceleration by alpha so there is the rate of change of momentum which is directly proportional to the applied torque going by the newton second law of motion we have torque is equals to i into alpha so torque producing the acceleration in the direction of displacement i is the moment of inertia about the axis of rotation which is now the axis passing through the cg so I have written here moment of inertia about the axis passing through CG and this torque will help the flat bar to remain in oscillation so we will call this torque as accelerating torque so we will denote this torque as TA so accelerating torque is equals to moment of inertia about the axis passing through CG is MK square into alpha so we will call this equation as equation number 1
which will give the value of accelerating torque. Now, after we remove the disturbing force, you will notice that the bar AB will oscillate for some time in the horizontal plane and after some time it will come to the rest, gaining its equilibrium position. Okay. This happens because there might be some restoring torque acting in the displaced position which will try to restore A dash B dash to its equilibrium position A B. This torque will act in opposite direction to the accelerating torque that is it should act in counterclockwise sense and this will be obviously produced by the forces acting at the displaced position of A dash and B dash. Now I will write the forces. Now let us suppose that force acting at A is TAH. Force acting at A in horizontal plane in displaced position and force acting at B in horizontal plane in displaced position TBH. These forces, now what are these forces? There is no external force acting on the bar. So these forces are nothing but the components of tensions in the string. TAH is the component of TA in horizontal plane and TBH is the component of TB in horizontal plane acting in the displaced position. Now these forces will produce the torque in opposite direction okay, like this and this force will produce the torque like this. So this force is acting uh, producing the torque opposite to the accelerating torque and it will try to restore the plate to its equilibrium position. So restoring torque is equals to force at A dash in horizontal plane into the radius of rotation is x g a dash is same to g a which is equals to x so t a h into x plus t b h into y t b h into y this will be the total restoring torque now we don't know t a h and t b h so let us find out t a h and t b h so from this vector triangle TA, TAH and this side we get the right angle triangle so from this triangle vector triangle this is TA okay this is the displaced side and this is TAH so at this angle is phi A so TAH is equals to TA sine of phi a so into x plus similarly tbh will be equals to tb into sine of phi b into y okay from this side we will get tbh equals to tb sine of phi b now since going by the definition of bifilar suspension angle of twist phi must be very small so sine of phi a corresponds to phi a and sine of phi b corresponds to phi b okay now we are here we know values of all these unknown quantities ta we know that ta equals to mgy upon x plus y okay ta equals to mgy upon x plus y so mgy upon x plus y phi a we know phi a equals to x theta upon l so x theta upon l into x plus tb mgx upon x plus y so mgx upon x plus y phi b y theta upon l so y theta upon l into y is the total restoring torque Okay, so this is equals to, now we will take the common outside, M, M is common, so M, G, G is common, so G, Y, 
y is common y x x is common x theta theta is common theta okay divided by in the denominator x plus y into l are common so in numerator what remains x and y so x plus y this goes with this so we get restoring torque is equals to mg xy theta upon l okay let us call this as equation number two now when we disturb the bar a b in horizontal plane and release it to our slate uh, after some time it will come to the rest in equilibrium position and this must happen when accelerating torque becomes equals to the restoring torque so when restoring torque balances the accelerating torque bar a b will attain its equilibrium position so for equilibrium let us equate equation number one and two okay so equation number one is accelerating torque which is equals to mk square into alpha and equation number two is restoring torque which is mx xy mg x y theta upon l and from this equation what we get alpha upon theta equals to this mm goes g x y upon l k square g x y upon l k square so whole of the term on the right hand side is constant okay g is constant x is constant y is constant l is constant k is the radius of variation which is also constant so obviously alpha angular acceleration is directly proportional to angular displacement theta that means these oscillations are executing simple harmonic motion we know that for oscillations performing simple harmonic motion we can determine frequency of oscillations using this equation acceleration upon displacement since we have proved that our system is undergoing shm we can use this equation to find out its frequency so fn is equals to for our system of bipolar suspension acceleration upon displacement that is alpha upon theta angular acceleration upon angular displacement so fn is equals to 1 upon twice pi we'll substitute the value of alpha upon theta which is g x y upon l k square so using this equation we can determine the frequency of oscillations of bipolar suspension system fn is equals to 1 upon twice pan root of g x y upon l k square where g is the gravitational constant x and y are distance of cg from points of suspension okay distance of cg from points of suspension l is the length of string l is the length of string and k is the radius of gyration about x is passing through cg okay thank you